Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to take a look at X Zodiac. It is a Star Fox kind of game. Uh, I want to thank the developer Ben Hinkling for allowing me access to this demo the Kickstarter has just released and I recommend you all check it out. The link will be in the description to the uh, Kickstarter and we're going to get in here and see what this game is all about. I'm really excited about this game, right or left it. Let's do mission one of Laura. The forest of Allures are under attack. Find out who's responsible and put it into the destruction before it's too late. Good luck. Uh, this kind of game I really have enjoyed uh, in like the, let's see, okay. Tap the fire button to shoot. Oh, that, okay. I'm trying to find the fire button. Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. I was thinking it was one of the controller button or the uh, trigger buttons, but it is not a trigger button. Okay. So yeah, I, oh, whoa, 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 we're getting hit. We're getting hit all over the place. <laughs> so, um, I really enjoyed Star, Fo uh, Star Fox games. Uh, they were a lot of fun. I really do like this kind of, um, I gotta get that helicopter. Yeah, whoa. Um, they were a lot of fun and I really enjoyed this kind of graphics. Even now, I still enjoy these kind of, um, oh, shoot, how do I, ow! Ah, uh, it's the trigger to do the better one. Okay. Um, they're a lot of fun. The graphics are uh, really interesting. Uh, the I've always enjoyed these low poly graphics. Um, they were a lot of fun when they first come out. And that opened just in time. Uh, and I still like them to this day. There's something about these graphics. I don't know if it is pure nostalgia or what, but... Um, they were, you know, they're very interesting. It was a very interesting time pulling in these early 3D graphics and being able to make uh, true 3D. So that was a big deal. And I did not get any missiles there uh, to, uh, you know, this was a huge leap forward in the early kind of, uh, oh, I don't know how to get through this and I'm going to get hurt. Oh, I missed it. Yes. Oh, it came in. Uh... So these are early, I can't keep track of what I'm saying. No! Um, yeah, we're getting torn up pretty bad, bad here. We are going to have to try this a couple times, I believe. Yep, there we go. Down in the ground. That's not a good way to continue. Um, oh, shoot. Double hit there. Uh, what is it? Okay, there we go. I had to remember what the button was. Ouch. Come on, man. This is tough. Um... So the early uh, three, uh, 3D graphics were a lot of cool. Uh, some of these games uh, came really well in early 3D graphics and some of them did not uh, do well in 3D graphics. Uh, games like this or some of the, um, I wonder if I could knock these out. That's what I was trying to do there, but it didn't quite work out for me. Um, so the early 3D low poly kind of graphics uh, did really well on stuff like this and ouch, and where's my I was hoping to get a uh, boost there and miss it, but that didn't work out um, This or racing games early like um, What's the words I want to use? Um, like indie kind of racing games or stuff like that uh, Worked really. Oh, I could not get that over there. Uh, worked really well. Oh, come on <laughs> I can't. Uh, but some games uh, did not work so well, uh, like, um, you know, uh, early computer uh, Tomb Raider or like Legend of Zelda. We all know, um, you know, the, the features of the character were, were rather pointy and a little, uh, you know, it, I guess for people it didn't go well but for the uh, other things when you had um, you had just uh, vehicles and stuff like that it, it seemed to uh, the low poly seemed to work a lot better and there's a missile coming at me okay barrel barrel this that's a barrel there we go do I have an ouch 
Okay, I am not hitting him at all somehow. I know what I need to hit, but I'm not doing very good at hitting it. And not getting hit as well. Um, but does his tail, is his tail a hit as well? So let's see if we can get rid of his tail uh, first. Now, there were a lot of games early on that uh, dealt with 3D, or kind of tricked your mind into doing 3D graphics or, you know, made your mind think it was 3D graphics, but it really wasn't. Oh, so close. Um, if you go all the way back to the Atari and like pull position, uh, it used, um, I just did that exact same thing as I did last time. Um, it used uh, uh, scaled sprites to kind of fake the 3D. Uh, also in games, um, like on the Sega Harrier Space Harrier, uh, also, um, you know, kind of, uh, what's the word, um, simulated 3D by using, uh, you know, uh, the scaling of sprites. Ooh, and this one's gonna, ah, I got hit again. Um, I'm trying to think of other games, but then even simple things like the, um, Streets of Rage uh, kind of simulated 3D. It was a very... Oh, come on. I am not going to make it past this boss. Um, it was very actually interesting the way uh, Streets of Rage did it because if you look um, there was uh, Streets of Rage you only moved up and down on the screen in Streets of Rage and the way to uh, make it look like that you were moving back into the background was the uh, the way the wall and the uh, background was uh, developed. You know, in the, the, the back image was a set in a way so that... I'm trying to get rid of this tail first. Hopefully that's going to help me out a little bit. Oh, ah, come on, stay high. Uh, okay, so... Um, you know, when you walked up, it was just moving the sprite vertically where, um, you know, it looked like you were walking into the background because of the way the sprite was uh, moving against the background. And that was a nice way that the game was able to trick you uh, into thinking that you were moving in a 3D space and it wasn't, but uh, it was very interesting that some of the early things that the games were able to do or tried to do to make it appear. Oh, I was trying to get over it. I'm not, oh gosh, I'm doing a lot worse this time, I think. Um, it was interesting, kind of the tricks that the uh, games. Wow, I did a lot worse that time. So it was very interesting some of the tricks that the games try to do early on to make you think that it was 3D and when it really was not, which is, uh, I cannot avoid these uh, very well. So hopefully that upgraded my laser and hopefully we can get some of these repairs on later so that we can do a little bit better. I cannot seem to get that missile. And I'm not sure if that is a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. I really wish that you could hit those uh, spots, like these towers. I think that you should be able to hit those towers and break that up. Can I just hold that down? I. Oh, that might be my missile thing. Ugh, okay, get up. That guy is gonna not. Ah. Okay, we got through, no. Ooh, we did get through that, woo. I did not think we were gonna get through that. Let's see if we can get what that what that guy, but I was able I was not able to make it. Okay, the triggers are a nice way of it kind of makes you go over quickly. Come on, this is not working out for me. God, there we go. We got a repair and a missile. So hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit better on here. I don't know what the missiles are gonna do, but hopefully we'll be able to uh, get this a little bit better. I try to in a lot of my videos What is the missile button? Is there a missile button? 
Uh, does not seem that I'm getting a mis missile. I thought I hit a missile there, but uh, maybe... Oh, well, there you go. Just hit the wall. That's... Okay, so... Let's see what we can do about avoiding those spinning arms of death there. I like this guy. I Like I said, I like the game. The game's a lot of fun. I really think that there should be a lot more games in this low poly kind of feel here. We're taking a lot of damage off that because we hit it in a very good spot there. Ooh, up. Uh, yeah. Come on. If I can get one of red of one of the arms, I think I'd do pretty good, but wow. I'm very much enjoying this game, and I try to talk through a lot of the games when I play, but this all oh, is intense, and being able to concentrate on all the moving things as well as uh, trying to talk is a lot harder than finding game over. Oh, man. But I do enjoy this kind of a game. I enjoy the, you know, the spaceship um, kind of shooters. And then not only that, but this, like I said, this low poly kind of um, feel is uh, very interesting. Unusually high levels of seismic activity has been detected on the planet's surface. We suspect the Zodiac is behind this, so proceed with caution. Let's see if I can do any better on the uh, second mission. Oh, no, no, that's... See, I wish I need to be able to switch the buttons. Oh, because some of these things uh, are not intuitive to me. I With a controller that is, um, you know, like an Xbox or, or, you know, one of these gaming controllers for the computer, I feel that um, trigger would be much more natural feeling for the shooting now um i don't know if everybody would feel that way but i think i would feel that way so i didn't look to see if there was settings for the controls um but i would like to see if that is a thing now the um i would set it so that the uh lasers would be the triggers like laser and a missile or laser and a bomb or whatever that is and then i would do the buttons or the uh, bumper buttons for the um uh uh the dog roll or the yeah this quick um uh what is that barrel roll kind of feel that's what i that's how i would set up the controls this seems a little counterintuitive to me but again that's not a huge uh like thing especially if they have uh controllers to you know a way to change that so this is i love the boards though and i like how he's done this he hasn't done um like trying to make a realistic setting he's done these ice and you think that it's um you know it, it the the levels fear feel um what's the word i want to use feel natural for a low poly so it's it's not like i'm trying to make people or something like that and you know something that's really difficult uh in the low poly uh concept but it seems like a much more natural um you know the world this world could be low poly and it wouldn't make a difference really kind of is what i'm trying to say whoa that's a lot of stuff there <laughs> i would like to at least get to the boss um, I wonder also if like these little guys here if I get all of them is that where I get my bonuses and I missed that bonus I'm starting to know low frequency seismic activity whatever's causing must be getting close here's my boss okay there we go what do we got we got a big oh it's like a mining worm thing that's kind of cool okay I kind of like how they have the same uh, concept here where they have uh, the you know this the, the bright shiny spot is what you need to shoot and that's very helpful here oh whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even see what's going on man that like completely blocked out the screen there a little bit 
Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can just hold on to one of these. Oh, nope, nuts. We're gonna have to. Oh, gosh. Bob and Weave's there. I thought that maybe we could focus on one and do a little bit of damage, but that didn't help out a lot. Uh, do I have any bombs? I really wish I had some kind of missile, um, you know, aspect. Oh, gosh. What is that? That is like just shooting up flames there. And I don't really like that. Okay, so it looks like we did do some damage on, oh, I don't like this. Uh, these guys, it looks like we took out one or a couple of his little links there. Woo! That was close. But if we could do a little bit better with these fire things that he shoots out, if we got a few of those back off, that would help. This is a really like, it just like lays on that fire, uh, that plume of fire in such a way that it makes it really hard to see what's going on. Okay, we got a couple more. Ah, okay. oh, shoot, okay. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll get one of these bosses dead. This one seems a lot easier than the other one. It seems to be a little bit more complicated, but for some reason I'm, I'm having a, a much easier time with this one as versus the there he should be i got all of his little links blown up but he's oh gosh he's he's mad he's angry i've made the drilling worm angry there we go okay come on come on oh gosh that's gonna be nasty what the frig is that i can't even avoid that man oh right, come on oh gosh he's gonna come at me Okay, we might be able to make it through this. Maybe. Let's see if he does that attack again. If I can get on it really quickly and stay on it, I might be able to get him to come before that shoots out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so close, man. A couple more shots and I would have had him. Man, that's rough. So rough. Okay, let's see what we can do here and see if we can maybe pick up a repair or avoid a little bit more sh damage. And hopefully, yeah, there's things all over the place shooting at me and I can't seem to avoid any of it. Um, I wonder if like, like a lot of early shoot -ems up, it would have these like little uh, groups of enemies. And when you killed all the groups of enemies, it would, um, come on, uh, it would, um, give you a power up or something oh and i wonder if they would do it on this as well because you can see like five enemies fly in and then i wonder what would happen if you actually shot all five enemies um i'm actually like not hitting anything to be honest with you oh Woo. like these here do i hey, can i get that guy i wouldn't know ah okay so we need to be able to oh that barrel roll Oh, get it, get it. Ah, oh, come on. So close. Okay, we can do this. I wish it would also save like right at the beginning or right at the beginning of the boss. That would make it a little bit more easier, but I can also understand why it doesn't do that. Okay, so. I also wish that you would be able to shoot um, we're gonna try to focus on one, but I don't think I can. Let's see if we could kind of keep them in maybe if they're, I don't know if they are targeted on me and maybe if I kept kind of a little bit more towards the center, it might be a little bit easier. Oh crud, he came right at me. I'm not sure if he, I hit, he hit me there or not though. I wish you'd be able to hold down the uh, gun thing. That would be a much, much nicer if you could do that. So if these kind of target where I am, I want to try to stay a little bit more in the middle so that it doesn't trap me to the outside. I think that might be a little bit uh, better. Well, there we got one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Oh, God, you're so close. I'm just like swaying back and forth. That's what, I ooh. Okay, we got that. Ooh. Whew, okay. Let's see what we can do here. We got a couple of the, and he hit me again. Dang, he's just, he's like running right at me. 
that several of the first ones this is the first time it's done that this maneuver so um i like how it's kind of random that's definitely uh keeps it interesting it seems that it's random Come on, come on, blow that one up. Yeah, come on, just keep at it, keep at it. Yeah, there we go. We got a couple hits, not a lot here to take care of this guy, uh, but I don't know if I can. If I could just stay like right there. Okay, we gotta avoid it, we gotta avoid it, shoot. Oh, come on, I'm not sure how to avoid this though. Wow, that, yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> I, on both of these bosses, I've got to like avoid being, well, running into the ground. You've got to avoid running into the ground. I got to avoid being hit a little bit better. Um, not so much with the boss, I guess. I think it's some of these early people. Um, I just can't seem to not get hit on some of these. I think I sit still too much. I think is one of the one of the problems. I try to start aiming at the um, enemies and um that gets me in trouble and i think avoidance would be a much better solution than trying to kill i think not 100 percent sure about that but i think that might be a better um trying to avoid the lasers here and the flames flames and the little hoppy frog things that's probably would be a good thing mm, okay it did the kind of jump right over my laser there I'm gonna try to focus on getting whatever this thing is that pops up here. There we go. There, aha, that's gonna help out uh, tremendously. Now if I could just not get hit again. Okay. And double tap on the uh, triggers is what makes you do the little barrel roll. I think I can do it. I think I can do it this time. I've really enjoyed this. I highly recommend getting, I think a lot more games should be uh, kind of in this space, flying space genre here like this. I would uh, think this is uh, like a very well untapped potential here. This low poly um, flying space genre. I don't even know if that's like a real genre, but um, I'm trying to focus my fire there on one of them. Ah, come on. And do a little bit better about blowing them up individually, but I don't know if I'm doing too well on that. That's my like my thought process here, but oh, come on. Ugh, stay right in the middle when he does. Up up middle when he does that move. Go ahead. If I can get some of these blown up here, it would very much help out. Oh wait. Whoa, there we go. There we go. Not too bad. I don't think we did too bad. We did get hit, but we only got hit once. So that is something. I can avoid this one now pretty well. I just need a better shot on it. I'm getting a better idea of the depth of these flames, but it was really hard. You need to stay in the middle. Definitely need to stay in the middle there. That makes it up in the middle, up in the middle, up, up middle. I, I can avoid him up in middle. The way he winds there, like, uh, not winds, but um, corkscrews there makes it a little bit difficult to avoid. You think he's going somewhere where he's not. This one's not a bad one because you can see, keep some, so I only have to avoid three of these. Ah, barrel rolled into the ground. That's not a good thing. Come on, come on, come on. One more to blow. Yeah. We're getting close, but we are almost dead too. So that's not good. Not, where'd, it, where'd it go? Okay, I knew that there was a... This is gonna be another close one, I know it. That laser thing is really hard to avoid though. There we go. That he shoots out here in a minute. If I could just get hit once or something or figure out how to do it so that I'm only getting hit once. Need to also just barely ink up on that. Oh, I got it. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet. We blew up one of them. 
We beat one of the world. Yeah, just barely though. Oh yeah, I very much uh, enjoyed this game and I can't wait to see more of it and uh, be able to play the full game. To be honest, a lot of fun and I'd like to see how the story goes and the more missions there are later. There will be a link below in the description for both the Kickstarter and Steam. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.